Number 10. Ohio Governor John Kasich is one of the not-so-interesting candidates, but when you hear about his relation with the now-bankrupt company Blockbuster, you may care a bit more. Kasich rented the film Fargo when the cashier assured him that it was a great movie, but much to his dismay, he regarded the movie as not funny, but graphic and brutal. He felt so much so that he demanded the movie was removed from shelves, but Blockbuster refused, saying that they would, however, label movies with graphic content warnings. Kasich still felt as though the situation wasn't very changed, and called the store to remind them of their deal. Kasich's wife had to calm him down, and Kasich himself regarded himself as a wild man. Kasich later had another incident when he bought a CD by The Roots and threw it out his car window because he felt the lyrics were offensive. Number 9. Lyndon LaRouche LaRouche has run for president upwards of eight times, beginning in 1976. People regard him as either a genius or someone who needs to be signed into the loony bin. LaRouche believes that the Holocaust didn't happen and that if it did, it wasn't that bad, and that a Jewish cabal is the heart of problems with the world. LaRouche also claims that someone kidnapped and brainwashed a staff member for the reason of assassinating him. The assassin was Chris White, Chris, who had married LaRouche's ex-girlfriend. Sounds completely normal to me. Number 8. Jim Webb during his 2006 Senate run in Virginia, Webb's opponent hired a researcher to go through Webb's novels. The researcher apparently found a demeaning sexual fantasy involving a Vietnamese stripper, and yes, a banana. I think that's all I have to say about that. Number 7. Jello Biafra The frontman of the band, The Dead Kennedys, Biafra chose a death row inmate as a running mate, and made promises to abolish the military and lower the voting age to five. Now, I don't think you have to take much social studies to know you can't just abolish the nation's military. Number six, Donald Trump. A man who makes even less sense than his hair, Trump divorced his wife Ivana in 1990, who revealed that Trump kept a book of Adolf Hitler's, I don't think I have to tell you who that is, speeches by his bed and read it every night. When asked about this, Donald's excuse was that the book was given to him by Marty Davis. And Donald was quoted with saying, and he's a Jew. And then Marty Davis was asked and said, I'm not Jewish. Number five, Roseanne Barr. Main character in the show Roseanne, Barr attempted to run for president in 2012. Barr's candidacy promised to have Wall Street bankers be re-educated, and what's even more nuts, she also wanted them to be executed by beheading. Number 4. Kip Lee. Running in the current candidacy for 2016, Kip plans to abolish money and make everything free. Also abolish the criminal justice system and believes that flying saucers will land on all streets in 2017. We'll see, Mr. Lee. Number 3. Basil Marceau. Basil unsuccessfully ran for office numerous times, his latest being 2010. Marceau has made promises to ban police officers from charging people with anything except vehicle moving violations and basically granting Americans immunity from the law, saying, Vote for me, and if I win, I will immune you from all state crimes for the rest of your life. Basil has also released a Christmas song. Number 2. Jonathan Albert Sharkey Sharkey also goes by the name The Impaler. Sharkey is a former wrestler and self-proclaimed vampire. His policy for crime is basically just torturing and of course impaling criminals and calls President H.W. Bush a wuss communist. He lost the election in 2012 and plans to run again, but not until 2020. Number 1. Vermin Loves Supreme Vermin walks around with a boot on his head and carries a gigantic toothbrush. He states to make laws requiring everyone to brush their teeth. He also promises to devote research to time travel, spread zombie apocalypse awareness, and give everyone a free pony. He also donated a kidney. I don't know about you, but he's got my vote. 